One of my other programs um, that I think is a very important concept is sexual communication. And I call it sexual communication even though it's not just about sex because the reality is that our lives are one big mating ritual mixed with one big survival game. And pretty much everything we do is a component of one of those two things. And the mating part weaves its way into just about everything in our culture at this point. It's everywhere, hardwired in there. No way to separate it. And so when I talk about sexual communication, what I mean is the type of communication and interrelating with others that is you know, ultimately leading toward mating. And what is sexual communication and why is it such a big deal? Well, as I started getting to know guys who were really good with women, I started seeing them do things that didn't make a damn bit of sense. It just was illogical. How could something like that work? I even had them explain it to me and try to like tell me how and why it worked and how they did it every time. And I just couldn't get myself to believe it or do it because it just didn't make sense. Well, after enough, you know, after you see enough of something and you go, okay, there's got to be something to this. Then maybe you try it and it works and you have the little aha, like, huh, I, maybe I don't understand it, but damn, it sure works. Let me try it again. And then you keep trying it. And then you get to that point where you don't understand it, you don't really get why it works, but you do it anyway and it works for you. And then I kind of got to another level where I started to, again, have a, an awareness that there was another language being spoken between men and women who are, let's say, interested in each other or on the kind of courtship path. And this other language was not like the language we speak, like with words like English, and it wasn't like math, it was like something very different, like computer code, totally different. And in fact, it was so interesting and different and powerful and it was almost like it was communicating on a different band of frequencies that as a guy, you could be having that type of communication with a woman and there could be, you know, 12 other guys standing around and all the other guys think that you are getting further and further away from that woman being interested in you and you and she know that you're getting closer and closer and closer. but it has to be kind of cultivated. Again, I think it's wired inside of us, but when you become kind of aware that not only do you have all those tools, but that there's a language and there's a dance to them and there's an interaction and there are universal steps and then you build an awareness of those steps, it becomes very powerful, so you need to study that. And one of the most important things for me, big ahas, was I've worked on my ability to see when there's attraction in a situation. And I've had several kind of metaphors in my mind, different things that I've used to ways of thinking about it. And one of them is like when, when it's on, when it goes and you can just feel it, it's like the flame on. I imagine like there's a glow between the two of us. Like the two of us have like a light inside that is now turned on. And there's really nothing that can happen to turn that off. That's the way I approach it. And what's fascinating is I used to really um, do things when I was interacting with women at the beginning and then over time to make sure it was still on. You with me? Like I used to do things like ping the woman and touch her and see if she was touching me and whatever. And I realized that as soon as it's on, it's on. And if she's still around me in any way, and I know the game, I mean, I know this, I know how things are working, I get it. You know, again, no more leaving all the techniques behind. There's not really anything that can be done to turn it off unless I make one of the, you know, big wuss mistakes or what have you. And it's fascinating because once you really see the sexual communication in play and you understand that once you flip that switch on, once it's on, there's that kind of magnetism pulling the two of you together. You can do things like talk to a woman for a little while and it's on and then go away for hours or days or whatever and then show back up and pick it back up and as long as you don't act like anything's weird, it can still go, it can still be on. And what I found is that by not trying to 
do things to, you know, little subtle techniques that are, you know, trying to figure out where she's at and move her to different places, I have had a lot more personal success. In other words, by cultivating the other vision, like putting on the glasses where I could see in infrared, so now I can see something that everybody else can't see, and knowing it's there. So if that doesn't make sense to you, maybe just write down a little note to yourself and, you know, what that meant to you and work on it, think about it.